Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Drops again and today I got a big update for you guys. It's been a, it has been a while since I uploaded something so I got quite some things to tell you guys and I got some good news. Frosty is actually still alive. So we're going to take a look at Frosty. We got some new traps up in the hatchery and the little colony of cancerformis mix is going on uh, in the bottom tank and uh, they are doing great as well. Um, first we're going to take a look at Frosty. Um, then we're going to take a look at the colony and later we're going to take a look at the hatchery. So let's have a look at Frosty first. Let's put on the spotlights. That's Frosty over there. And Frosty actually became really big, as you can see. Let's give it a comparison with the other ones. So this is the size of Frosty. And that is the size of the smaller ones in the colony right now. So there is definitely a big difference, so that's why I was not able to put Frosty with the other ones because Frosty has never been with other tribes before, so it's definitely possible that he will uh, or she will think that uh, the others are actually uh, food instead of uh, tribes friends. Let me get a view on her. Oh, there she is. She is actually slowing down a little bit, but um, still doing great. So that's Frosty right there. Um, I'm going to get the lunchbox and uh, we're going to feed her some pellets. Give me a second. So this is the lunch lunchbox. Uh, I use this box for the traps, my fish and also for my shrimp. So it's a multifunctional uh, lunchbox. We got the Hikari crusta menu over here. It's uh, crustacean food which contains additional calcium for the molting process. These are compressed uh, carrot sticks. Basically this dissolves in the water column and will um, give little small flakes of carrot. These are veggie wafers for my um, plecos and for my uh, for my pleco and for my um, autosynclus fish. Uh, algae wafers for my uh, pleco and also for my uh, autosynclus. But the shrimp and the other animals uh, will eat this as well. And we got some uh, stinging nettle sticks, also compressed, will dissolve in the water column and will give little small flakes of food for the shrimp triops and for the fishies as well and I got a big variety of dissolving sinking pellets that will be uh, eaten by my pygmy corridoras, shrimp, triops, fish, everything. So these are multifunctional pellets and uh, they are they actually got different colors so they also have different uh, uh, ingredients. It's a great mix. So let's take some of these crustacean pellets and uh, give them to little frosty over here. Not completely sure where she is right now, but let's get her over here. That's where she usually gets her food, so... Give me a second, let me check where she is. Ah, there she is again. Uh, she messed up the tank a little bit, or the container a little bit, but no worries. Still doing fine. She's actually enjoying her little pellets right now. Uh, it's time to take a look at the colony, let's dim down the lights and let's have a look at the colony right now. So, this is the main tank, uh, we got some tribes, cancerformers inside this tank. There is a little variety of tribes, cancerformers inside this tank. Uh, we got some tribes, cancerformers simplex, tribes, cancerformers martanicus, cancerformers albino japan and cancerformers europe green brown. So there are plenty of cancerformis species inside this tank. Um, I'm basically uh, trying to mix them a little bit up so I get will get uh, mixed eggs and this will actually become a new uh, Triassic Park Traps kit uh, that you guys can get in the future. Um, it contains a variety of Traps uh, species from Europe and as well from Asia so it's a Eurasian mix. And I thought it was really fun to create such a new mix because I actually had the Triassic Park Traps Mystery Mix 1 and it was one of the most chosen products uh, or kits. So that's basically why I wanted to do a Cancerformis mix as well because a lot of people actually really like to get the mix, Mystery Mixes. Um, if you would like to get yourself a mix as well or get another Traps um, egg kit, Feel free to contact me, you can send an email at triassicparktraps at gmail.com 
or you can uh, hit us up at the Triassic Park Trials Facebook chat or you can find us in the Instagram chat uh, from uh, Triassic underscore Park. Um, these little canker formers are actually feeding on the um, Hikari Crusta menu pellets right now. This is what they usually do. They just grab a pellet and try to get away with it as soon as possible to make sure that the other ones can get their own get, get their piece just like that <laughs> no sharing over here but they truly like these pellets so I can't imagine why they don't want to share them because they actually are really tasty to them um, but it's a good food product as well. It's small, it's simple, they can get it and uh, they can hold on to it as well. So it's a really accessible food source to them. And that's basically why I really like to use these pellets for my triops. It's a good food source and uh, it contains actually quite a lot of minerals and other uh, additional proteins and stuff. That's actually really great for the growth of your triops and for the development of their exoskeleton. So it's a good food product that I've been using for a while now and um, well both my uh, uh, shrimp and trops really like them so this is what you usually get with these little pellets uh, I also gave them a nettle stick um, but these usually have to dissolve a little bit and um, they will definitely like these as well uh, maybe you, she's interested Maybe not. Um, well, never mind. Um, I also found something interesting inside this tank. Uh, the trials actually got themselves a little egg laying cave over here. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn on the lights and uh, show you guys uh, what these trials have been digging to into. Give me a second. Oh, it's hard to see this way. Oh, there it is. It's a little egg cave, actually. <laughs> they actually have been laying a lot of eggs over here. And that's actually really interesting. So, we got the two little egg caves inside this tank. And um, I'm going to harvest them definitely in the future. But the difference is that these eggs are actually attached to the... Um, to the moss balls instead so I probably have to cut off a little bit of the moss ball and we'll dry it up on top of the moss ball as well and uh, it will probably get a little one it will be a little bit of a collectible in the future um, we got some fighting going on over here over the food um, this is usual as well trials actually really want to capture themselves a piece and just get out as soon as possible and that's definitely not possible when there are not enough pellets around so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add um, about three or four extra pellets to make sure that they are not going to kill each other over these little food sources that are around. Give me a second. Just going to add some pellets in there just to make sure that they don't uh, keep uh, fighting around too much. Uh, there are some albinos inside this tank as well, but I think they are actually in the back right now. Um, because these little guys are a little bit being around messy around being around <laughs> messing around a bit i'm sorry guys well we, we definitely got a lot of activity going on over here over the food um, we're going to feed the little uh try juveniles in the hatchery as well so give me a second guys while i get the food for the little juveniles as well so over here we got the little hatchery um i think we got about let's say a between 10 and 20 triops uh, inside this hatchery basically this is a little backup slash reinforcement group um, because the colony that's in the bottom of the tank actually doesn't have all of the species in it right now so I actually did a little backup colony uh, to make sure that most of the species will be inside the mix and eventually I will hope to uh, mix up some eggs that are missing to make sure that uh, the mix is fully completed as well uh, the eggs will be completely random but it's actually really fun to have a mystery mix um, because as you can see you got some albinos over here you got some larger ones some smaller ones 
and it's actually looking really fun. Um, having uh, different uh, cancroformer species living together. It really is fun. I just gave them some food. Uh, it's basically a mini mix of everything that's inside my lunchbox for the fishies and the shrimps. Um, but it's basically graded down to a size where uh, most of the smaller tribes can access it a, really bit, a little bit easier. So it usually contains little, little small chips and little fragments of the adult food. Just grind it to a smaller uh, size. But it works out fine. And we got some brown algae growing on the sides of this container, unfortunately, which decreases um, the vision. Um, but still, uh, we are able to see what we want to see. Everybody happy inside this tank, uh, feeding on all sorts of foods right now. <laughs> uh, I also gave them a little bit of the carrot, uh, the compressed carrot sticks. They have been eating from it, but um, they kind of left it alone right now as well. So I'm not completely sure if they completely like it, but they actually do eat from it. So I think it will be gone tomorrow and I will have a new task cleaning all the poops away again. Um, as well, last thing that I wanted to show inside this tank, um, the oxygen plants kind of went rampant on growing. Uh, it's actually quite a jungle <laughs> right now, but I kind of like it. Um, so we got a large plant. Uh, layer going on in the top uh, which definitely decreases the amount of nitrates inside this tank and we got a little living space on the bottom with some caves and some other little ornaments where the tribes can live in and uh, dig in as well and uh, that's basically why I like this setup right now uh, lots of plants tribes can climb in it uh, they can chill rest on the plants as well. I do have a little feeding ring over here to make sure that the um, Duckweed isn't overgrowing that much But as you can see we have quite a lot of duckweed growing over here as well But it's mainly a food source for the tribes as well because they eat these tiny little roots that are growing over here That's basically tribes food and it's free and growing inside my tank. So that's great. Um, and these little guys are basically getting trained to eat uh, the duckweed as well by adding some duckweed to the hatchery in the main stage or in the early stages. As you can see most of the roots have been eaten and that's good news. Um, basically the duckweed will die and uh, start to sink down where the trials will eat it. So basically free food, free salad growing inside the tank. Uh, got some oxygen. Um, bubbler going on over as well to make sure that there is enough oxygen there are quite a lot of uh, little specimens inside this tank so definitely need to make sure that all of the trials are getting enough oxygen um, the tank gets the oxygen from um, the filter outlet that's basically uh, vibrating the water column which is generating the oxygen um, frosty also has her little bubbler to make sure that this little container is um, kind of getting oxygen as well. We've got a little fight going on over here over some pellets again. <laughs> Funny little critters. That's definitely for sure. Um, but guys, um, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will upload some other videos very soon again. And I hope to see you guys next time. Um, stay tuned for the upcoming videos and have a nice evening or day. See you next time. Goodbye.